What's up guys? It's Brian here and in this video we're going to be using acetone and PLA printed objects and we're going to see uh, what happens to them when you soak the objects in the acetone. I think for three hours we're going to, you know, do increments but supposedly in three hours this should be rubberized. It's really firm right now. It's a little ring for my Nixon watch. Alright, for this project we're going to be using acetone. You're going to need some type of container to put your piece in. Um, I recommend glass because certain plastics will dissolve in acetone. Um, there are certain plastic, plastics that will not dissolve but just be safe and go with glass. And then I've got a second glass here because in this first one we're going to have our PLA printed part and our second one we have an ABS uh, blue skateboard wheel in the second one. So we're going to see what happens when you put acetone with ABS plastic. Now the results should come out to be something more silicone-y like this which is my original um, silicone Nixon band but we will see and we will compare to the um, second PLA print that I have. Both are very sturdy. Alright, let's get started. Always remember to use acetone outside where um, the vapors can escape. You don't want to do it inside because it can be harmful to breathe in. So just keep that in mind. Alright, now we're just going to pour a little bit of acetone in both the ABS and PLA container. The um, ABS is already starting to dissolve. Uh, the ABS should fully dissolve into the acetone. And then the PLA should just soften up. So we'll give this some time and we'll come back and check it out. I left it in overnight, so I'm not exactly sure how long, but as you can see, oh, it's very squishy. Uh, it's not super, it's not like a, if I had made it a little thinner, it probably would have um, been even more squishy. But that's that's about where I want it. Um, this is how it was originally. You can't you can't bend it at all without breaking it. It's pretty neat that uh, you can turn a solid piece like this into something rubberized without having to buy like a silicone filament. As you can see under the important section, it says acetone may soften or damage plastics, synthetics, and many other finishes. So that's what we're doing. We're just softening the plastic. So that's basically why it works. Thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.